Welcome to Credit Matters TV. My name is Kate Scanlon, Senior Director in the Structured Credit Group of Standard & Poor's, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Wei Li Chen, who is also a Senior Director in the Structured Credit Group. In this segment, we will discuss some of the activity in the non-traditional sector for the first half of 2014. Wei Li, perhaps you could start by uh, commenting on the new issuance activity that we've seen. Thank you, Kate. Um, I think for the first half of 2014, in terms of issuance volume, we're slightly uh, lower than the comparable period in 2013. And in my view, it's just a reflection of the ebbs and flows of uh, business, different business sectors that we cover. Container leasing, as an example, in the first half of 2013, we rated six transactions with an issuance totaling $1.8 billion. And I think that for the this year, when we rated three transactions, it's $800 million. So many of our container lessors are very cautious to invest in new equipment in light of the sluggish uh, world economy. And also they've noted, I think, that sometimes just the, the kind of returns they're looking for is just not there. As we've commented before, and we'll repeat here again, I think um, this is actually a positive factor we consider um, in terms of the credit because uh, we'd rather see that you know the the uh, container lessors have the kind of discipline when the demand will return does not substantiate new investment. You do see that slow down. Um, another interesting, I think, uh, observation is that uh, despite the slower, slightly slower issuance volume, I think demand for the product on, in non-traditional sectors remain to be very strong spread are at or uh, around historical lows for uh, some of the larger asset classes such as a container and uh, timeshare. Um, I think the other way we look at the investors appetite for risk is that um, there's a lot of new different type of collaterals now being um, I think considered. Earlier this year we issued uh, a number of commentaries covering for instance the residential home rental asset class as well as the, P the new P2P uh, lending business model. Um, in terms of rated transaction, one example I want to point out is the recent uh, preliminary rating we issued on the Solar City, uh, the second Solar City transaction, in which it uh, has an innovative structure to accommodate uh, both the, I think, the bondholders' interest as well as the interest of equity. Uh, owners. Um, so e as, as a result, I think you, you lose, the, as, as, a, as a result of, I guess, the additional ownership, uh, you lose some of the control rights uh, typically seen in securitization, but we believe is uh, substantially mitigated in the structure. Again, a good example of continued innovation in our uh, sectors, uh, a trend we, we expect to continue. Thank you for that, Whaley. On the surveillance front and focusing on the second quarter actions of 2014, the majority of them were in the small business sector following the application of our new small business criteria, which we published in March of this year. We currently have outstanding ratings on 138 tranches in 40 small business transactions. After applying the new criteria and factoring in the performance of the transaction since their last review, including loan seasoning and any changes in credit enhancement, we affirmed our ratings on 66 tranches or approximately 48% of the outstanding ratings. We downgraded 32 tranches and upgraded 40 tranches. The average downgrade was three notches versus an upgrade on average of three and a half notches. Aside from those rating actions, we raised our ratings on seven classes and affirmed our ratings on four classes from a triple net lease master trust. During the second quarter, we also affirmed ratings on seven tranches from container transactions and three rail car securitization ratings. For more details on any of these actions, please go to www.spratings.com forward slash non hyphen traditional. Thank you for tuning into this segment of Credit Matters TV.